Hey everybody, Scott Dillon here from the North American Business Process Intelligence team. And today, as promised, option number two for creating a business process model. And let's do this in less than 60 seconds. So over here on the top of the screen, you can see this create basically um, some quick links to the most popular options within the tool set. One of them happens to be BP. MN business process modeling notation and what I want to do is create a really quick um, order to cash process so there's my start event there's my end event and then you can see here there's all kinds of options when you hover over the object so maybe I want to create a task which is you know creating an order right so I can I can save that and then I can click on that and then you can see here I can drag the edge out I could create an exclusive or I could maybe create another task which would be what we would need in the order to cash business and maybe of course um, you know if you don't already have the end event I could just click that and it would create it but I've already got one so what I want to do is create a sequence flow so I could just drag that on top of the palette Put it to where it turns green, put it towards green, and here we have the world's simplest order to cash process. But maybe I want to do a couple of other things because one of the things that I mentioned last time in the um, first option was this notion of the dictionary. Now we haven't dug into that yet, but we will. So if I go through these different objects, you can see one of them is IT systems. Everybody knows here, of course, that SAP does have a module for that so maybe we're going to use SAP and what's happening now is it's pulled out a list of the IT systems that we had to find in the dictionary so maybe I can do the same thing here IT system double click on that I can type in SAP SD so I can associate that and here we have it we're uh, about 60 seconds to create a business process modeling notation. Of course, now we would save it and I would say, you know, initial OTC model. And down below, you can see that the tool is validating um, the fact that we've complied with BPMN 2.0 notation. So this is important. So I'll, I'll save that. And that's it. Thanks and over and out. Stay tuned for option number three. Take care, everybody.